Hey everybody, it's Nick here again for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla, and uh, today I'm going to do an After Effects tip for you guys. Um, let's uh, dive into After Effects. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of a problem I get all the time when trying to build 3D objects in After Effects. So jump on in to After Effects. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are. Uh, first of all, you see I got my white uh, my white backdrop going on. That's because it lights my face. That's because this thing is a big light for my face. Uh, so let's go do it. Uh, you're going to make a new uh, project. We're already in that. You're going to make a new composition. Uh, I'm going to make mine HD 1280 by 720. And we're in. Uh, I'm going to first show you how to build a cube really quickly. And this will show a problem I get all the time. And I'm, I'm going to make a solid. I'm going to make it 720 by 720 pixels. And I'm going to make a square. Here's the easy way to make a cube, all right? Uh, you make the uh, solid 3D. You open up the anchor point. What you want to do is move the anchor point in Z 360 pixels, which you can see is the same distance as half of this um, uh, this square. So the square, the square is 720 pixels wide, and and uh, we want it. We want the Z anchor point to go back 360 pixels and you could see if we go to our custom view what that did it brought our anchor point back here see so now all you have to do is duplicate rotate duplicate rotate 90 degrees now I'm holding shift so it it constrains to 90 degrees all right now you see the problem uh, I get this all the time. Let's zoom in, try to make it a little more uh, easier to see. You can see that seam that's running down the edge of the cube right there. Um, happens all the time. Uh, and it, it used to be tough to, uh, you know, basically it took me a long time to figure out what the heck's going on here. Why is there uh, an edge there? And I'm right on it. I mean, we did the math. Uh, there shouldn't be any difference. Now, we can start to play with uh, trying to butt it up closer to each other, but that never works, especially if you're working with lights uh, and shadows. You either are overlapping or there's a seam. So let me show you exactly what will fix that. If you highlight all your layers and toggle to your um, modes, you can see all the way down at the bottom of your modes here, there's alpha add. All this other stuff you've seen probably in Photoshop, and, and now we're getting into this After Effects specific ones, and this alpha add, if you click it, we'll get rid of it. Bam, magic, just like that. So if you pull out, move that around, and you can see when we move it, you may see it, but when, when it actually renders the full image, uh, it, it, it's all set to go. So now we can actually add, uh, let's see, a new light and bam add that to the scene and now you're gonna see we're gonna get nice corners everything's looking good right uh, so anyway that is um, basically an issue I always run into uh, when working in 3d when working in After Effects trying to butt elements up next to each other it's always gonna be a seam there uh, again alpha add is your solution to the problem so a uh, quick tip for today uh, hope uh, hope that made sense if you have an issue with after effects if you have a problem you can't fix drop me a comment I'll fix it hope to see you guys soon bye everybody